In this video, I'm going to give you all the endings you need to correctly decline words into the instrumental case. I'm going to give you the two reasons why you need to use the instrumental case. And I'm going to tell you how you can download a free cheat sheet, which will provide all of this information to you. Давайте начнем. Всем привет. Меня зовут Джерд, и я делаю русский язык легким. If you have no idea what a case is, this video is going to be a little overwhelming for you. I would suggest you go start with this video, which will explain what a Russian case is and how to study them. Because an entire case is kind of a intense topic in Russian, I'm going to break the whole instrumental case down into three, maybe four separate videos. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, be sure that you do that so you can get notified when the other videos come out. All right, let's start with the endings, the singular masculine. For most nouns, Ending in consonants, the ending is going to be um. And for most nouns ending in a soft sign or any kratkoi, the ending is going to be yem. So those are your two primary endings for masculine, um and yem. So let's take the example of Ivan, the name Ivan. And we want to put Ivan into the instrumental case. Because it ends in a consonant, we just add the om ending, Ivanum. So Ivan goes to Ivana. Let's take alien as our next example, a deer. If we wanted to put alien into the prepositional case, we see that it ends in the soft sign, but it's still masculine, so we're going to put the yem ending on it. Alienum. Okay, the neuter is really easy. They have the same endings, um and yem, as the masculine, but it's even a little bit easier because neuter words ending in o, you just add the m on, and neuter words ending in ye, you just add an m on. So you really don't have to learn anything here. You're just basically tacking on an m to the ending of any neuter word. So let's take the word malako, milk. If we want to put that in the instrumental case, it's malako. Let's take the word moria. A C. If you want to put that in the instrumental case, it's moriam. All right, let's move on to feminine endings. For feminine words ending in a, the ending is oi. For feminine words ending in ya, the ending is ye. And for feminine words ending in a soft sign, all you add is you. Just one letter there. So let's take the word lojka, for example, a spoon. If we want to put spoon in the instrumental case, it's Lojkoi. Because it ends in an a, it goes to oi, so lojka becomes lojkoi. Let's take simya as our next example. That means family. Because it ends in a ya, it's going to go to a ye, so simya goes to simye. The plural endings are even a little bit easier because it's either ami or yami. That's all it is for all the different genders. So let's start with masculine. Most of those words that end in a consonant are going to end in a with ami. So let's take the word karandash, pencil. If you wanted to put pencil in the plural instrumental case, karandash, because it ends in a consonant, would add the ami sound. Okay, let's go on and do the neuter plural. The easy way to remember this is o goes to a, ye goes to ya. See how it rhymes a little bit there? O to a, ye to ya. If you can remember that, you're almost always going to get the instrumental plural correct, ami or yami. So neuter words ending in o get the ami because o to a, and neuter words ending in ye go to yami because ye to ya. So let's take the word zdanya, for example, a building. If you want to say buildings in the plural, it's zdanyami. Feminine is pretty easy as well because those feminine words ending in a, they're going to keep their a ending. You're just going to add the m e ending, ami. And those feminine words ending in ya are going to keep their ya and just add the m e and go yami. So let's go and take the word loshka again. So let's say we wanted to put spoons into the instrumental plural. We would say loshka me. You see how it ends in an odd, keeps its odd. We just add the M-E letters here. Okay, you guys, if you're liking this video, please smash that like button. It really helps me out. Thanks. Now, you may look at this and feel like, oh my gosh, this is overwhelming. This is a whole bunch of endings. How's this going to work? How am I going to remember all this? I've made this PDF for you. It's kind of a cheat sheet. It's everything about the instrumental case. It's got all the endings. It's got the prepositions, the verbs, all the special nuances to the instrumental case. 
Everything that we're gonna talk about over the next three videos is included in this one PDF and you can download it for free. I'll put the link in the show notes down below. It's a really valuable resource. I highly recommend you go download it. It's free, you got nothing to lose. Now let's go on and talk about the two primary reasons when you need to use the instrumental case. The first primary use for the instrumental case is with the preposition su, meaning with. Now su can have other meanings, but su plus the instrumental case always means with. So let me give you a few examples here. My husband is reading with Ivan. Moi muj chitayet sivanam. You see the su here is with Ivan goes into the instrumental case with Ivan. If we wanted to say, I like bread with butter. Menyen ravitsa chlieb s maslam. Masla is butter. You just add the OM ending there, or in this case it's neuter, so you just add the M and you get with butter. Pretty easy concept to understand. S plus the instrumental case means with. The second major use for the instrumental case is when you want to talk about how something was accomplished. And go to the name of this case, instrumental case, instrument, meaning how was something achieved? How was something accomplished? By what tool or by what means? And if you think along those lines, you're generally going to get the instrumental case correct. The tool by which something can be accomplished can be a real physical tool or it can be some abstract item. So let me give you some examples here to explain that. Let's take this sentence as an example. He wrote a letter with a pen. What did he use to write the letter with? Well, he wrote it with a pen. So he could say, on pisal pismo ruchkoi. You can also say it for abstract ideas. Like if you wanted to say, she built the house with a lot of work, meaning it took her a lot of work to finish it. So she built the house with work. In other words, she persevered, she got through it. Here's another example for you. He succeeded with great effort. So he succeeded by great effort. That's how he accomplished his goal there. It took him a lot of effort. But because of that effort, he succeeded. All right, you guys, that's really everything that I wanted to cover in this first video. Don't forget, there's two more videos coming out. So be sure and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that so you know when those videos come out. And don't forget to download the freebie that's in the show notes below.